Let's balance the chemical equation NaOH plus H3PO4, sodium hydroxide, and this is phosphoric acid. We'll also look at the type of reaction and write the states. Let's start with the type of reaction. We have an OH group bonded to a metal, so this is a hydroxide. When we have hydroxides, they're going to be a base. This is phosphoric acid, so we have an acid and a base. We end up with this salt, sodium phosphate, and water. This is a neutralization reaction. You could also call this a double displacement reaction as well. Let's balance the equation. We'll use a bit of a trick here to make it a little easier. We have one sodium, one oxygen, one plus the three here. We have four hydrogens. And I didn't count these oxygens when I counted the oxygens up here because we have PO4 here and here. This is a polyatomic ion. It stays together, so we're going to count it as one thing. That'll make it a lot easier to balance. We'll get the same answer either way, it's just faster. One phosphate ion. Product side, three sodiums, one oxygen, two hydrogens, and then just the one phosphate again. Why don't we just start with the sodium? So we could put a three in front of the sodium hydroxide, one times three. That would balance the sodiums, one times three for the oxygens, that gives us three. Then let's update these hydrogens here. We have one times three, plus the three here. So we have six hydrogen atoms. I'd like to leave the oxygens until last. Why don't we balance the hydrogens? We could just put a three in front of the H2O. Two times three, that would give us six. Those are balanced. One times three, that would give us three oxygens. We're done. This equation is balanced. So it's really valuable when you're balancing equations, especially neutralization or double displacement. If you have a polyatomic ion on both sides, count it as one thing saves a lot of time. If we were to write the states here, sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base, so that's going to be aqueous. Phosphoric acid, that's also aqueous. Sodium compounds are very soluble, aqueous. And then water, that'll be a liquid. So those are the states for the neutralization reaction here. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaOH plus H3PO4, sodium hydroxide plus phosphoric acid, the type of reaction, neutralization, and it is also a double displacement. Thanks for watching.